What's up, everybody? This is Dill Guy, and welcome back to Let's Play All World Apes Odyssey. Um, in the last part, we went through the stockyards. In this part, we are going to go through the mosaic lines. So let's do this. Okay, to access the stone, stand in front of it and press up. Okay. Grave dangers await those who dare from dock and trials offer to spare. Enduring the nests of creatures' unrest is a task for those seeking to be the test. Brave be aware for you all have told that only one shall be so bold. Alright. Up to it. So you access the story stones. And those paintings of that eye. You access the hand. Nice. Yes, these are falling rocks. Those are statues in the background. We saw them last screen and this screen. These look pretty nice. That is a new dock in here. And look, see the wise will mimic for passage. Um, this is a native Mudokin. If you get too close to them, see they have an, a slingshot. And if you get too close to them without answering their password, they will kill you. So you have to answer the password correctly. So basically, mimic the whistles and blows that name Mudokin just did. So, this is like a guardian. See? And yeah, then he just disintegrated into birds and fly away. We can pass them once you give them the correct password. Alright, let's see what this says. Chant until the slig is yours. Hold L1 and L2 to chant. Uh, we've been doing that for the entire game, but okay. And yes, look, there's rock art. The rock art in this game is really nice to look at. So let's possess the slig. And yes, you can see, um, <coughs> in this world and, um, in, see there's birds there on the ground and we'll see up here next to Abe. But when Abe walks, they fly away on the screen. If he gets too close or if he walks too close to him. Okay, so we go through here. To roll, press X while running. Okay. That. And look, see. It's like practicing to jump. Stand in front of the well and press up. Try running in front of... Try running to well and press and pressing up. Yeah, see, it just takes you there. All right, so let's go. And yeah, you end up back here. Go through this bird, run past those birds again. See a story stone right here. Those rock art says go up. All right, and the rock art pyramids and scrabs is awesome. All right. Few pyramids and scrabs inhabit these lands, as millions have died in our, our own lost hands. Sacred they are to us who know, but face them he must to continue their show. Trikal shall come from the victors from their spirits unrest to aid the victor after this quest. And that sun or whatever, the rock or the bottom is pretty nice. But I think there was rock art in the first story stone too. Yes. Okay, we have to go up. So we'll find out where Trikal is eventually. Look, see. It, <coughs> as you just saw at Name Udokin, um he uh, held his slingshot up, and if you get too close to him before answering a password, like he'll warn you if you get too close, he'll kill you with it. Okay, so anyway, as the story stone says, switches work well, and rock art means you can jump through, and let you fall over, and that sign on the left means pull something, someone will happen. You see it on that statue too. You can see those Mudokins chanting in the background too. Because they're meditating. Yeah, they're, they're, they're chanting. Okay, so. Yeah, you can see the sign of the statue on here. Oh, it just sends you there. You can see you have to jump in. Hey, don't get mad at me. I just came up here and you came out of nowhere. Screen. Went off screen before you did. Let's read this. <coughs> Let's 
see at Redock in hand. Shark on the Black Guard Redock and then Redock in the Spirit Reads. Okay. Single blue hand shall bear the brands and unleash the power to destroy false lands. Gluck and ministers will fume an alarm as a shrikel awakened halts the flesh farm. Alright. Okay. This basically is like a directory seeing mosaic lines. So we're right there on that. Um, the forest to the right block, which is lit up, and it says, one, first of all, number one, you get the bell song here, and then go to possess number two, then possess the bells here. Do that, that basically shows where you want to go, how you want to do it. So, block, see, this, you can scare away the birds right there, and they'll come back after you read this rock art. See, it's art, this story stone. All right. See, to use bird, bird portal, chant, then jump through it. This one I do kind of understand, because if you hadn't done any of the secrets, and you probably might not know this, the ape can jump through bird portals. So, yeah, basically jump through. And it says we can go down. That's the sign says. And those are bees. See? That was a hive if you get too close to the ice. See, they won't kill his name, Mudokins. Or, the, they see, they won't kill those Mudokins. Um, if you get too close to a hive of bees, they'll start chasing after you. Not just you, but any creature. Um, and, uh... <coughs> um, most, uh... They'll kill most creatures, including you. Yeah, they can kill you. If they sting you enough times, like with... Abe, normally the higher pitch Abe's voice is, the closer he is to death, and then gets stunned by bees. But, um, they won't kill his name of Dawkins, and, um, one other character, we'll see what it does. Alright. Let's see. Touch stone to get the bell song. Let's get the bell song. Okay, see, so chance to possess the bells. Okay, so let's possess the bells. And you don't even have to do a song. It will do it automatically for you. See, it will do that. But, like, you can actually... You don't have to have a bell song. Wait, can it? Let's see. Okay, it's not like me. But basically, if you don't have a bell song, you can possess the bells. They won't open up, though. You need the bell song to open them up. But if you don't have a bell song, you can possess the bells and make your own uh, rhythm with them. And you can even do a password, but it still won't open unless you um, have the bell song. So, yeah, you need to get the bell song to open, get the bells to open the doors if you possess them. And they'll do it automatically once you possess them, so you don't have to worry about that. But once you have the bell song, um, you can't, you, they always automatically do it, so there's that. Anyways, let's go. No. Okay, Flint Lock. Our temples have grown dark since the Magog cartel enslaved in the Dawkins. Ignite the holy fires by throwing Flint Lock switches wherever they are found. Only when all Flint Locks are fired will you be admitted to the temple's initiation ceremony. Okay, so yeah, there are Flint Locks you have to get when you're in the temples of the Paramites and the Scrabs. Lock. And over here, it says, see, see what these hand flies say, Leap of Faith. Sorry, they don't say anything else. So let's leap. Oh, I think you actually, you might actually have to leap, because I think maybe if you just walked off normally, or even hoisted and fell, can you get back up here? 
no. Okay, so yeah, maybe you did have to leap, otherwise you might have died. Not sure though. And, but it's... We had to test it out though, so it's good. Alright, let's see what this is. You will return. Yeah, after you can go to your temples, you will return to here. Let's go. Over to here. This is the Dock of the Imprint. And let's see what this says. Born to those of lost history and laborers of flesh, those within the conjured beasts of monstrous appetite, of hardened shell and horrid burned breath, is a heart of steel and blade. The first shall bear witness and come forth. He frees his own before finding the others. Okay. Those are statues of pyramids and scrabs. Okay, so... Um, Basically, these are wells which lead to Paramonia and Scrabania. Paramonia is where the Paramites are. Scrabania is where the Scrabs are, in each inside the temples. Now, <clears throat> the way you do it, see, see what this says. This little thing right here. See, this talks about the Shrikle. With power acquired, blue rings will sing to chant the power to wreak the havoc they bring. The Shrikle's power is given to he who is lucky enough to return from Paramonia and Scrabania in one piece. Okay, so yeah, basically, um, that's where the shrikel is, and it will um, destroy when you chant. We have the shrikel power; it will destroy every enemy or enemy object that's a threat to you on the screen. So, like, well, like, basically, like all those mines, all those anti possession worms, and all of, it will destroy them all and kill all the sli slicks. So, yeah, there's that. Basically, you pull a sliver, and you go over here. And you have the option of going through to par through Paramonia or Scrabbing at first. We're going to go through Paramonia first for continuity's sake, because um, and you'll see why after we finish the temple. So yeah, let's go to Paramonia, and there will be a cutscene. So let's go. I had visions of Paramites living in the one. How they were before I was a child. Then I saw what we did, ignored their cries, cut them up for a paramite pie. Yeah, it's nice poetry. In case you couldn't tell, like a lot of these cutscenes you now are spoken poetry. So, yeah. And look at that. See that structure in the background? That is the Paramoni Temple. So, yeah. We're in Paramoni right now. And. Basically, that's it for this part. Uh, thank you guys for watching this admittedly short part of All Real Names Odyssey. And next time, we'll be tackling uh, Paramonia and the pathway to the Paramonia Temple. So, thank you all for watching. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed. And next part, we'll be going through Paramonia. So, this has been Dill Guy, and I'll catch you guys next time. Bye bye.